Where Can I tweet that we're live? Do you yeah. think it's safe? Yes, I think it's safe. It's safe. Well, they know we're live. I just can't imagine someone seeing it, the tweet, and then going to the thing in the amount of time that it was like. It's if you if you know if you've that, never watched the podcast before and you just got the Twitter. It's always follow safe. us on Twitter. I give you the go ahead. It's always safe to tweet that. Mm. You would be surprised. Sometimes tweeting can get, lead to I get, ending things. I get people going. I clicked it. You weren't live. You know what you should do to that? And then they left. Block. No problem block. solved. But that was our mistake. That's negative. We before it was live. Why so negative? No. See, Sean I'm runs positive. things loose. Like I'm positive that I don't need that kind of uh, annoyance in my life. You couldn't wait the 13 seconds. So Sean, I called him negative, and literally the first word out of his mouth was but, no. But that's our fault. And that the fans I are tweeted an it before it was accessible to the people. That's not on them. That's on me. Who Sean annoys is you? Steve, Sean, can if I just you say can't this? Hit yeah. Refresh one fucking time, and you you want to spend your time instead writing uh -oh. an email Listen, to dude, Ram. I'm Hey, rant alert. Fucking time. Oh, okay. with Sean. Listen, rant alert. See the and way he time. is? See the way he's acting? Sean, Steve Ballmer, I'm Steve Jobs. All oh, right. Yeah. Steve Ballmer, I'm yelling about this, I'm yelling about that, but the details are lost. It is. And Steve. there's no taste. The uh, can I add on that? The thing to him. Steve jo hey, Steve Jobs comes out and he says, you know what? I'm not yelling. I'm gonna show you this. Can I, I just uh, change the world? Steve Ballmer. He's also dead. Steve Jobs. Steve Austin. Oh. Steve Urkel. Hey. Theme song. Lisa. What? It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. A love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, in there must be some magic Uh, can I hereby decree that Kevin is Steve Wozniak? No. Steve, what? That means he'll be gone soon. No, don't cut to him. No. You're not the most Wozniak of us all? That's, that means he'll be gone soon. Oh. Sad day. Hmm. Sad, very sad. Um, anyway, sorry. It's June 4th. Some people want to force upon us the f I, the fallacy I of do that. Mega 64 Day. Happy Me hey, guys. Happy Mega 64 but Day. But that is... What? A weak illusion. Happy. And it, your life is a construct. Uh. And you are blind to the troubles of humanity if you think that today is Mega 64 Day. It's not. It is. Happy birthday, Mega no. 64 Day. Happy I'm, birthday? What? We weren't born on this day. Happy there. birthday, May 64. Sean's into weird shit that you know doesn't that, make sense. Uh, Jesus Christ wasn't born on uh, December 25th. Here we go. I did know that. But we celebrated on Christmas, so this is the the first. Yeah. Do you know why? I, fuck no. Then why would you use that as an example? Because it's true. Just That's the, the truth. Research. Anyway, so today we are born. So are we, we, are all born are we hijacking a pagan celebration today? Or? Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm Catholic. I ain't doing that. I yeah, no, fuck that. I, I'm a true Catholic, too. Name of the Father, yeah. Son, Holy Spirit. Pope John Paul, number you. two. That's the only Pope I still recognize. Fuck, yep. fuck the two new ones. I'm holding on for John Paul yeah, to come I'm back. I'm a John Paul OG fan. All the way. Original ah. original Pope OG. And, uh, you know what? I condemn Sean to hell for his... Uh, for his yep. uh, devilish religion, celebrations. There is no hell. So, is this a, like a... Are you Jewish? What? No. I'm nothing. I was thinking uh, about all religions to, uh, today. Really? Actually. I was. And I was thinking, this isn't for me. This whole idea, I don't like it. That's not for me. If you're anything, good on you. But for me, I don't know. I'm not into it right now. If you're anything, maybe later good on when you. I'm like on my deathbed, I'll like I'll pick one. Or Which one? Oh, Which one? I mean, I'll honestly get a Matrix before wheel and just spin it. Convenience. Oh. Go Jedi. Go Jedi. I'll just pick one. Pick Jedi. That's the fun one. This guy's gonna end up flying spaghetti monster, pasta no, Celebrate. Hey, honestly, fourth. no. That's my least favorite one because that one's wow. the most annoying. Wow. Oh, okay, man. Mm -hmm. He's you, just cut burning. They're, they're worse than uh, Scientology in your book, huh? What? Uh, mm. again, there. again, there we're gonna we're gonna make a hierarchy of all the religions every... Sean hates. I don't hate. Hey, I don't hate any religion. I'm just saying none of them are for me. That's what I'm Ooh. saying. Well, that's basically a fuck you. We gotta find one. <laughs> yeah. this, this guy's worse than Hitler. At least Hitler 
liked some religions. Did he? Which one do you like? I don't even know. His own. Yeah. What was his? Whatever he did. I don't want that one either. That uh, was it was one. the German one. The uh, German, Germanism. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Germanism. Oh, hear that Germany? Hope we got, hope we got fans Germany over there. Germany now Dusseldorf. is pretty cool though. What? Well, yeah. we'll we'll talk about that. Okay. Later. God, every bridge burned. You know, I, I just can't feel like it. all these every religious book nuts. I don't, I'm not. I'm not into it. It's too crazy. Why? Why are you hiding this, your eyes? He's been crying. It's too crazy. <laughs> this is someone. He's judging the whole thing off a, ba- a few bad eggs. No, no. Yep. You just said it. No. You just said no. These nuts. They're but that's all- not what it's about. It's not about that. You got to appreciate the word. Be good to thy neighbor. Be good to thy family. Mm-hmm. Without religion, you can't do that. It's not possible. Oh, you have no motivation fuck. to. That's why people without religion typically steal and hurt and uh, kill. Is that what they do? Cheat yeah. too. I, I, that's going to be you. Cheating and that's lying. Gonna be, that's you. That. It's going to be you. Yeah, yeah. You know any liars out yeah, there? Yeah, Jenny's just completely up a creek because you're not going to yeah. respect her. No. Oh, I didn't think about that. Fuck. All right. Well, I'll pick. I'll get the wheel out later. I'll pick one tonight. Okay. Sean's going to pick a religion at by the, the end of the night. At the end of tonight's show, Sean will have a new religion, and he will Let, next week we'll check in, and he will practice. <laughs> I've been working on a doctrine because I've always wanted to start a cult. Yeah. So maybe, Sean, if you want to be like yeah. the first. I would love That's to. That's made up bullshit. We're going to get a real one yeah. in here. You know <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm with shit. Garrett. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make up my own religion. Okay. I'm going to run for president, and if yeah. that fails, then I'm just going to make up my own religion. <laughs> and that can't fail. But we'll talk more about that later. Okay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mega64 podcast. Um, can we can we just kick things off the right way? Can we do that real quick? Kick it. I'm Hold on. Let's introduce ourselves Okay. real quick. You know, I, I'm not going to assume everybody's watched every single episode. Maybe somebody's course, tuning in for the course. first time. In which case, welcome to a great episode. If this is your mm. first taste of Mega64, you're lucky. I'm Derek Acosta. I'll just go down the line for you guys here with Rocka Bodie, Sean yes. Chatfield, Garrett Hunter. We are Mega64. Kevin joining us on the computer tonight. We we fired Eric, frankly. Oh. Wasn't doing a good job. Yep. He's Too out of here. Too religious. Too yep. twitchy. Get the fuck out of here. That's Too why? Religious. That was no. your reason? No. Wow. Okay. I'm joking. I, I, you guys. <laughs> comedy. I don't even comedy know what to say at this point. Out left and right here. Let's kick it off right. Rocco, go ahead. Uh, I just think no bullshit. We got to just do what this podcast does best. Mm. Sorry. It has to go this way, but it does. Will I am idiot. He is. Let's get it started. Uh, will I am performed a benefit concert I saw that. In Holy the United shit. Kingdom respect, last night. Respect to that. Respect. Who is he Great. benefiting? Uh, you it know, was the, all the, the victims. Manchester, the bombings that happened at the Ariana Grande concert. I think he came on stage and played with Yeah, them. they played a oh concert. You know what? Those people have suffered enough. Oh. Wow. Well, <laughs> he ran out. <laughs> sad, you know, sad day. To his credit, he ran out. Good spirits. He ran out. Yeah, yo. What's up? Yo, what's up, London? What's up, London? Problem is, uh, Manchester is not London. He was not in London. Oh, uh, he oops. was in Manchester, which You'd is think different. It was and, in the news. You think he'd get it right? Uh, yeah. So anyway, but <laughs> don't worry, there. don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Will I am said it was an homage. What to London? Because they yeah, had a attack too. yeah. So you know he was doing like a tribute. Yeah. To oh, them. so yeah. So happy tribute. ending. Uh, honestly. If you fuck up, just own it. That's no, okay. It's a tribute. Everyone no. fucks up. That's no. right. I guess William doesn't make mistakes. Yeah. No, he really doesn't. He well, I'm, I'm glad that uh, the whole terrorism issue has been settled thanks to Will I Am. Yeah, so he solved it. Has ISIS heard ring off of monkey business? Clearly not. Clearly mm-hmm. not, because they put the guns down and start... Dancing. Dancing. And, uh, and making booty calls, as the song suggests. I, uh, I, God, I hate to do this, but I'm going to, unfortunately, on that note, I have to, uh, in case you haven't heard the news, Fergie has left the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, really? really? Wait, yeah. is this recent? And uh, just the other day. Oh she put I saw out her piss herself on stage with yeah. the Black Eyed Peas. I know. It's like you know her. I, yeah. Um, intimately. So, uh, but Will I Am had a statement, so don't worry about it. Ferg. He's, he's reassuring everybody okay. uh, that she's working on her solo project at the moment, 
uh, we're on this brand new experience celebrating 20 years of Black Eyed Peas putting out music, says Will. We worked on a bunch of songs on her solo record. We're yeah. proud that she has her label, but Black Eyed Peas are pushing it forward in terms of content, technology, and okay. experiences on our new project, Masters of the Sun, The Zombie Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, wow, Masters of the Sun. The Zombie Chronicles. What? Cool. Is that? Yeah, uh, the oh, graphic novel. They're doing a graphic. Oh, okay. Masters Ooh, of the Sun. One? Yeah, that's way right. crazy. That's right in Who's doing that? Huh? Wiz I live. What's the Gross. DJ Trap? Wiz I live. Gross. What's the other guy? Wiz I live. What was? Co complete the name for me. Wiz I live. What's the? Wiz other I live. <laughs> what's the other? <laughs> With the long hair. Uh, Wiz I live. There's Apple, taboo. Apple taboo. the app, and, uh, and, and, and you know Wiz I live. And taboo, the, aka he, Taboo. He sounds like the evil rival of Will I Am. I was mixing them up. You Wiz know what? <laughs> I'm. Are they drawing this or like who's tired of Fergie? Uh, to hell with Fergie. I'll say it. Oh, he'll say it. First well, album, Fergalicious. The new album, Fergusting. Will I Am is such an innovator that he thought of doing a zombie comic. He's, Ten years too he's, late. Whoa. He really just crazy. Changed, you know, wherever he goes, he I, I goes. believe it's pronounced zombie E. Yeah, you know, first of all, oh, all the zombies. Yeah, those dots are in there. Uh, Second of all, mm. it's not well, a graphic novel. Yeah, yeah, it's not a comic. <laughs> One. <laughs> hey, Scratchman in the chat has suggested the album title Forgotten. I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's, that's really good. funny. <laughs> anyway, shout out to uh Scatman. London and the zombies and all yeah, that shout stuff. out London. That didn't, come, with that you. didn't come out. Uh, Sorry. Shout out to all victims of everything everywhere. Yeah, respect. We're gonna have a benefit on our YouTube channel. Go watch some Mega sixty four videos and uh, email them to all all victims of everything everywhere. Subscribe. Tell them to subscribe. It'll Thumbs make up. it'll make them feel better. Honestly, Comment. it'll make them feel better. Do that for them. Oof. Yeah. Log into their computer and subscribe. It's not, it's not as it's not as healing as the will I as the music of Will I Am, but you know it it'll do the job. Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, a lot of important stuff in the world today. Obviously, we covered the biggest already because that's kind of on everyone's mind. Uh, but you guys have been watching Twin Peaks, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, just uh, the first two hours I've seen. He saw the first two hours. I saw the first four. I'm caught. I'm caught up. Boom. Clearly, oh, Garrett has more responsibilities in his life. Um. No, what? I mean, I've been extra busy lately. Yeah. Okay. So, so you had a rough so week. So it stands as correct. It, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't want to diminish. Whoa, Rocco's. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Dimin no, honestly, diminish away. Hey, I know this guy personally. <laughs> diminish away. Hey, in all honesty, in all honesty, yeah. there's been more shows that I've wanted to watch than ever. You guys this, talk about this some of the craziest recently. stuff that I've missed out on. Like uh, that. There's a ton of stuff. Um, but uh, normally there's nothing I'm really into. Mm -hmm. And right now, like, Leftovers is wrapping up, but Silicon Valley's on, Twin Peaks is oh, on. Oh, gosh. Uh, I've been watching fucking anime too. I've been watching Attack oh. on Titan and oh, that's back now. DB, there, there, there's so DBS. much. There's so much stuff that I was watching that mm -hmm. I kind of gave up on or just forgot about, and now sure. that it's all back in a new season, mm -hmm. I have not started watching anything. I'm still like well, halfway through last seasons of stuff I was yeah. watching. Well, what what has worked out for me <clears throat> is and not to not to uh, do a self plug, but uh -huh. been working on a certain book lately mm. i hear good things about i've been work i've been yeah and uh I, as i've been kind of going through some old old stuff i've been able to watch stuff you know as i do it you know it's not like when you edit a video you're focused on that and that's it you don't have time for shit else but with this it's kind of like okay i can watch stuff and kind of look you know whatever and uh so i've actually been able to catch up on this stuff but mm. uh I talked about Twin Peaks a couple weeks ago. I had I made predictions for the new season, mm -hmm. and I said this is going to be a disaster. People are going to turn on it he because did say that you're going to get that thing. Not even that it was going to be bad, but just Overhyped? that. No, I, I thought it was going to. I know he's going to go weird with it, David Lynch, and I thought the fans are all going to go. This isn't Twin Peaks, and turn it off. So you're being negative. Uh, I was just thinking that would happen. I didn't even say the show would be bad. Mm. I just thought anyway, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't feel that that happened. I actually feel like um, the show that they've been putting out actually does a good job. Like I've actually been really enjoying it, and I and I bag on the old Twin Peaks all the time. Right. But I've really enjoyed these these first four of this new show. Now, oh, um, I'm sorry. I have just, a question for you, real quick. Yeah. This is a new show. Yeah. Well, I new mean, season. It's, it's a continuation. 
Okay, so I couldn't just start here, right? Well, you, start, you could. Well, you could. But uh, I, I guess I guess you could. I, I feel like you'd be pretty long. Okay. It's pretty. It seems you know they they kind of yeah, made it lost. seem like it would be okay. It's right. pretty impenetrable. I just wasn't sure if it was like a new. Like it's for fans. Of Twin no. Peaks. Now I have this hard choice of do you want to suffer through two seasons of a shit show? That's exactly or, it. I, I, I still can't recommend most of the old show. However, however, <laughs> um, I Ooh. I enjoyed the finale of the original show. I watched that again. And then I watched the new ones, and I'm so happy I did that. It's all coming off of that. I could um, recommend for people out there that don't want to sit through insufferable season two of that show. Mm -hmm. There's a cut that you can find online of season one and two made into a two-hour feature. Okay. I forget what the title of this is. Do you remember when mm -hmm. this became popular with, like, episode one? People would cut Star out... Star Wars. You're talking Jar about Star Wars. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode one, Star Wars, cut out Jar Jar Binks, yeah. and there was, like, a recut. Absolutely. So there's recuts of the entire show, season one and two, and parts of Fire Walk With Me, which is a film yeah. that comes after the two seasons. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. That's, like, a prequel movie that he made. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good at telling you... In kind of a chronological order, here's yeah. like the meat of this mystery. Yeah. And it does a really good job of doing that. Yeah. And then if you watch these new seasons, be pretty caught up on what's happening. Uh, yeah, I, I'm normally – normally I'm always like anti-fan fan edits. I am as well. Normally. I am as but well. But this show is so entrenched in kind of a mess of shit around it that I I'm, I honestly feel like if you just want to get caught up for this new one. Hey, yeah. and if you got time and you're like super into it, there are some hilarious bad things in – Season two, like David Duchovny's storyline in yeah. drag yeah. as an FBI agent that mm -hmm. works with that. Like there's stuff from the deep, dark season two that is laughable. Sam, uh, I think Sam Raimi's kid is Ted Raimi is in it uh, as a character that. briefly. A lot of Heather Graham stuff. OK. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's 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 lovable for what it is. But yeah, yeah it's hard to recommend. But anyway, the new season. Uh, yeah, the new season I, I've really loved uh, because I feel like it's really unfiltered, raw, just weird, and I love that. Mm -hmm. But it it they do it in a way that it, there's not it's not so obtuse that there isn't a thread you can follow because that's what I worry with David Lynch's stuff. It can sometimes get so weird that you don't even know what to talk about with other people. Yeah, this is done in that way that I loved Mulholland Drive, where it's like. It's bizarre, but like, let me watch that again because I think I understand what's going on here. And and it it doles out mystery shit almost in a way that Lost did, where it was like, okay, we give you another thing. Now here's another mystery, but it also kind of answers what you were thinking about this other thing. And it kind of you keep going down this path, and it's uh, actually really interesting. Like I I really like it anyway. So there's, I like the four so far. I'm really impressed by it. The the first two hours that I've seen, there's definitely like some brand new kind of Twilight Zone-esque stuff that you're just like, mm. what the fuck? And it's so written like he writes dialogue. Yeah. And the show is full of, what I was kind of surprised to see is like a lot of Black Lodge stuff like right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, it's embracing the weird shit that people loved yes. about about the old, and that's what I, that's what I like about yeah. it because I like that. I didn't like any of the soap opera shit around it in the old show at all. But there's enough of that too with introducing like some new FBI agents Yeah, that you're getting like, okay, here's a new aspect to a cohesive yeah. story with like a time skip this takes place in the future yeah um and it's it's got all that lynch dialogue that maybe the dialogue is kind of shrouded in mystery and doesn't really make sense but they're definitely showing you mm -hmm. if you watch the show like the narrative to understand what's going on more through showing you than telling you because it's yeah, kind of exactly it's hard to understand what the fuck people are talking about yeah when they're talking to each other. But yeah. that's how the show is. Yeah. Uh, it's what their actions and kind of how the story unfolds. You can kind of piece it together. Yeah. There's hints, but in the dialogue, it's all fucking, like, mysterious on purpose. Yeah. Uh, it's good. So far, I'm happy with it. Uh, it's funny also that you said uh, that there's a time skip or a jump in the future. Yeah. Because it's literally been – twenty. It, it takes place 25 years in the future, and that's literally years how later, long it's been. Yeah. So is that a time skip or just time? Well, yeah, true. Just <laughs> – so anyway, master plan. He yeah. waited twenty five years. Sounds yeah. like shit. <laughs> he's cool. been he's been doing too much uh, transcendental meditation, and it's gotten them all confused. Yeah, confusing dialogue, confusing events. Old it's a lot better coffee. than the old show. I promise. It's really good. <clears throat> yeah, because right. the old show had a lot of hands in it. He seems to be pretty uh, over everything. 
yeah. with this production. He, I mean, he's, he's in charge overseeing. of sound design in the new show. Yeah. Like, he, every detail has a credit he, for him. I bought a few of his uh, albums. Yeah. Crazy Clown Time, I think, was his most David recent. Lynch releases music albums? It's yep. very what you would think David Lynch music I would like. think, yeah. Like <laughs> and there industrial-ish. Not quite. Electronic. Soundscape. Real open. Oh, soundscapes. Uh, yeah. It, <laughs> it's like atmospheric it's, drones and there's stuff. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. Um, cool. But yeah, it's it's in the show. You can hear his voice and his... I can definitely hear like his sound design featured yeah. throughout the show. All yeah. right. Nice. Uh, it's cool if you're a Lynch fan. Uh, cool. Got about 30 more minutes to cover everything else we're going to talk about tonight. Yeah. Shit. Well, we're only at the top of the list. We're at, the, we're at item number one, wow. Twin Peaks. Wait, so uh, real quick, you recommend it to everybody? Yeah. Do you recommend it to everybody uh, out there? I actually do, but again, you have to watch the old ones to get to it. So uh, yeah, that makes it really hard. Sean, you know. your opinion on Twin Peaks? Haven't seen it, but I was going to watch it. And now you're not? No, I'm still going to watch it. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, check it out for yourself. Hey, let us know. If you like Twin Peaks, uh, tell us what you like about it. If you hate it, tell us what you hate about yeah, it. Yeah, I actually do want to hear. I, I want to know if other people are on. I, I feel like I'm just hearing positive stuff. But Email us. Same here. Uh, what, Mega64 Podcast? Podcast at Mega64? Podcast, Podcast at Mega64.com. Let us know what you think. Uh, hey, big movie coming out this weekend. I saw it. The new Wonder Woman oh, you film. Saw it? Yeah, yeah, I checked it out because uh, it was getting really good reviews. Yeah, I saw it too. Well, I had a bet on this movie with a fan, and what I, was the bet? The bet he said that Captain Underpants was going to beat Wonder Woman in the box office. I said no oh, way, please, no way, no way. Wonder and Woman destroyed. Them. Guess what? What's I Captain won? He's buying a shirt now. Exactly. So. Oh, exactly. Perfect. Thank you. Why would he think that? I mean, Wonder Woman is hey, like the biggest. It was movie. a pretty safe bet, and I made the company <laughs> some money. So. There you go. Uh, Garrett saw it. I saw it. You guys didn't see it. No, I, I was going to. I heard, uh, yeah, like you, I heard good stuff. But every review I read was, yeah, I mean, compared to Batman versus Superman, oh, my God. And I'm like, so are, is this actually good or have you just I can review it. I'll cut through all so that whole shit. Okay. So I, have a, go. I have a spoiler-free <laughs> review of the movie. It will be spoiler-free. But I want to know what you thought first. I thought I, I don't know much about DC. I've always been more of a Marvel fan, yeah, as I've talked about before. But I liked getting an origin story on Wonder Woman. I mm. thought it was really cool uh, for a superhero movie. I, I know I always say that. Oh. I did fall asleep during <laughs> two parts. At you the, fell asleep uh, twice. Review. Wait, there, you fell yeah. asleep, woke up, and then fell asleep again. So I've been working. 58 hour work oh, week. Oh, okay. All right. All right. And Saturdays, and I'm just fucking exhausted. And yeah. I went it in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, it was like a. It's 10, relaxing. It's, it's a three. No, it's a two and a half hour movie. Okay. So, yeah. like, the movie got out at about 10 45. I'm pushing it. Uh, so, a couple points, I kind yeah, of dozed off. But, like, a cool villain. Um, I really liked the character design, actually, how simple her, like, uh, it was just a, 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 a doctor. That's in the film. We're not spoiling anything. But there's a lot that I liked from the movie. And I think it did a origin story. I know where Wonder Woman came from. Yeah. Now, I, I had I had like ideas like I knew I know nothing. about the Amazons and stuff like this. But you really get to see... It's it's their version of like the first Spider-Man. It's always an origin story, you right. know? Yeah. So I think... So here's my review. Hey, if you like superhero movies, you're going to love Wonder Woman. The reviews are coming out saying it's one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. I think that that is, I think Hollywood has a real problem with overselling their movies at this point. Every single movie that comes out is five stars, a masterpiece, greatest thing ever. And frankly, they, mo they movies suck that bad. That yeah. What it's movies been. have not been that fucking good lately. And yeah, I would give Wonder Woman a solid six out of 10, maybe a seven. That's pretty good though. Uh, I give it a seven. If you don't mind CG, it gets a little PlayStation two. There's a lot of, graphics. if you don't mind this, if you don't <laughs> yeah. mind that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. And that's what kind of sucks. And ultimately I think I just realized, Hey, I I'm officially not interested in superhero movies anymore. Wonder Woman was pretty entertaining for the most part. Like, yeah. hey, shit's happening. All right, I'm, I'm not. I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> but at the same time, I really feel like filmmaking is a lost art form, a dying art form. We're just not getting good movies of the same caliber that we were getting 
even a decade ago, and I could go on a whole different podcast to talk about this, uh, but I just feel like, yeah, it's entertaining, but ultimately it's kind of a stupid movie. Like, it's just a dumb movie. Um, There's a lot of dumb things about it. And yeah, Wonder Woman's kind of a dumb character, though. This is my, I think. Here's my major problem with this movie. So I'm going to tell you when it's set, the time that it's set in. It's set in World War I. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And the villains, there are stock villains in this movie. Okay. You may be able to guess who they are. Uh, Germans. Be my That's guess. right. They are Germans. Mm. Not they not are Nazis. But not they yet. are portrayed as Nazis. Yes. And That's this exactly really choice. bothered me while I was watching the movie because I felt like, why are these <laughs> non-Nazi Germans being portrayed as Nazis? Does Hollywood have such a lack of imagination that anybody who's German for the rest of time is just going to be a Nazi and we can kill them off. Hmm. You know, I was thinking like if Hollywood made a movie about the fall of Rome and all the German barbarians come in and invade, they'd be fucking Nazi barbarians. And if Hollywood, <laughs> if Hollywood makes a movie someday about global warming, Angela Merkel will be portrayed as a fucking Nazi because that's as far as we can think. Stock enemy. Do they have like the pointed helmets at least? Well, those are World War One. No, not, that, like, not really. Vader kind of they more have the movie. Iron Cross yeah. instead okay. of the swastika. They they rock the Iron but Cross. They have the, the, the helmet I thought they rep the Bismarck. History, like, those helmets are fucking scary. But it's yeah. uh, you know the Germans are just like violent for the sake of being violent. It's World War One, and they're portrayed as these super evil guys. And I just remembered learning about World War One in high school and reading All Quiet on the Western Front. The whole point of that book is the German and the English guy are in the same trench together at the end. And it's like, oh shit, we're not that different after all. Right. We could be brothers. If this whole war wasn't going on, we would probably be probably be friends. Yeah. That is not the message of Wonder Woman. <laughs> it is, oh, we're gonna we're gonna end this war. I'm gonna kill all those fucking guys over there. And I just kept thinking, like, what did the Germans do to deserve the wrath of Wonder Woman? These Poor fucking Germans are forced into this war, and then Wonder Woman decides they're the enemy and just takes them all out single-handedly? Does she really, you know, she has a fucking sword. Yeah. She never really, like, dismembers or cuts any of these Germans in half. Oh, it's always, man. like, knock out with a whip But at the or, same like, time, a, a shield her, bath, her comrades right? are yeah. Americans and English. Lasso, yeah. She's protecting all of them from getting shot by the Germans, doing everything she can to protect them. These guys pull out fucking guns and are taking out Germans left and right. She's like, yeah, all right. Now launch me up there. Yeah, true. Yeah, I just felt like there was a real kind of crisis. Wonder Woman is trying to be this, uh, you know, guardian of peace, but her actions don't really line up with that. And uh, yeah, so, you know, it was a, it was an action movie, but just the motivations, kind of the whole thought behind the movie, I just felt was kind of off base. Uh, but, you know, superhero movies. That's that's what you get basically. I got I got uh, for me those are made for teenagers. So no, yeah, you know what though? What is. I was thinking about it. They're not made for teenagers. They're made for the entire world. And I was reading this mm. article about how the last uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie, not the most recent one, but the fourth one, it cost like two hundred fifty million dollars to make or something, mm. three hundred million dollars to make. Yeah. It only made about sixty million dollars here in America. China. But they recouped their it made, money. It made more than I think it made more than that. It made sixty-two. I looked it up today. Oh, really? Wow! It recouped its money all across the world, and so now these big budget movies—they're not really made for an American audience. They're made for a world audience. Yeah. And so, so when people. you expand your audience base, you kind of lose the nuance and yeah. kind of the attention to detail that would really resonate it's bland with American people. Well, and translate into a thousand real languages, and I guess the cultures are so different that you have to make. Hey, yeah. You so it all gets boiled down to bland. we're good, they're <laughs> bad, we're gonna kill them. Let's go. And uh, I was just gonna and that's say. It. That that was the thing that I was reading. I think I talked about it on here already, but the the writer, some writers that were in charge of writing a new Batman movie or something right now. Uh, and I don't know if this was like an unsubstantiated rumor or anything, but they said that they were in the rumor has it. They were in the middle of writing it and it, they already they're like, no, we got to like take it. It's done. We got to move on. And it's like, well, these big writers will help. It's not good right now, but these big writers will help us. You know, all these big writers in Hollywood were willing to pitch in, and they were like, "Look, this is going to be in so many other languages. Like, it doesn't matter. Just give it." And yeah. It's like, oh. oh. And uh, you know, Wonder Woman comes down to basically like, if you're not on the side of America, you deserve to die, and we're coming to get you. And I just felt like you could have dialed this into a more meaningful story, but obviously well, she was going after a god that was kind of 
allying himself with the Germans in this war. Oh. Just to play devil's advocate. Interesting. You know, she's going after her antagonist, which is And he, he's on the German side. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, He's oh. she is searching for Ares. She's searching. She's for searching for the God of War. She believes that World War One is happening because Ares is kind she of manipulating he, he all of mankind. He's manipulating all of mankind. But she's going to go take out the Germans and and end this problem. In the meantime, no. Oh, just oh, not deal with him at all. Just I'm going to take out the Germans. That's where she just and, she teams up with a, a fighter spy guy. And uh, you know what? He's on the British. Team. I don't want to yeah, spoil anything. Yeah. There was another plot point in this movie that's a major spoiler, and I don't want to talk about it, but it really oh. disappointed me. It's a trope that I I want to wait a week or two. We'll come back to Wonder Woman. I'll talk about this trope that I hate in movies, but Wonder Woman was a big victim of this. Get I'll talk about time. it again later. Right. But uh, yeah, Why world you? audiences are ruining movies, frankly. We need. We need. It's not even world audience. It's the 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 mark the way they, the market, their business yeah. model. Yeah, what they green model. light. We need only going to be bland stuff. I want somebody to make a movie for the greatest country on earth. Everybody, this USA, one. US of A. There's got to be some indie guys out there that want to make a good American. Speaking of indie guys, what? I just wanted to say I never saw Get Out until this last week. Oh, uh, and there you that, go. That that was like one of my. That's probably my favorite movie this year. I really, really, really like that movie. Um, and yeah, I, I, I never say that too. Favorite this year. I was saying earlier, oh, my favorite movies, my favorite movies this year have all been sub $10 million little movies like that and split or whatever. It, it's like these little bizarre movies. Um, I yeah. really enjoyed. I've been I like those split a little more. bit more than get out. I think that might be my favorite that I saw uh, so far. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm the opposite. I think get out, get out. Yeah, sure. I watched again. And it was so rewarding watching it one more time, knowing how it ends up. Picking up all this Every stuff. single thing in that movie was a, every single thing was a planted seed for what was really happening. And watching it again was just, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. They, they gave you all the, they gave you the answer to that movie yeah. a million times. And the fact that you don't know it until really the end is, is so well done. So anyway, yeah, I, I, anyway, I just wanted to say that like, that's where I feel like it's headed. It's like these little stories are way more interesting at this you point. Know, but, you know, whatever. I'm older, too. I so. honestly, I kind of feel like some of the charm of Get Out is uh, the political climate of the world we live in today. Oh, yeah. And I think it really plays off of the current culture. I think that's what promoted it so well. Yeah. And that's why I personally liked Split a little bit more because I felt like it was, you know— Kind of removed from all that stuff. I got a little bit more escapism out of That's Split. The thing is, I haven't seen either of these movies, but I'm so tired of the political climate in this. It's not. It's not really about that. Oh, I mean, it's not really I about that. But I think I feel like the movie benefits in its promotion and its popularity oh, because even like one of the world we live in. Like, I'd rather watch that where it's like I just want to get out of this fucking world for a second yeah. and just go somewhere it, else because it, yeah. it's so fucked up. I just want to go somewhere else. So, hey, there's like legit lesbian fantasy going on in the beginning of that movie wonder woman yeah yeah one thing about wonder woman that it's, i thought was it, legit whoa. was hilarious was the training uh, sequence all of this controversy about the all-woman screening of wonder woman i just felt oh, like yeah. if that upset you you're not gonna like wonder woman at all the movie is no. set on a all-woman world where there are no men and men show up and they start fighting Fuck and killing up. them yeah uh, anyways, this just Star Trek for thought like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, they ripped off Star Trek. Yeah, it's like the women are in charge and the men are next like, gen. Yeah, yeah. Women are like the leaders and the men are like the little slaves. And dude, like, beam me there, death by snoo snoo. There's well, a Futurama episode yeah. like that. <laughs> but uh, of course, one of them falls for Riker. Of course. <laughs> fucking typical number one. Nobody mm -hmm. can resist the Riker. Got no that fucking beard. No. Uh, hey, speaking of Star Trek, the new Star Trek game came out this week. Star Trek yeah. Bridge Commander in VR. Has anybody here had a chance to play that? I played through the entire tutorial. Wow. What'd you think of the tutorial? I mean, it was awesome, but I was in that for so long that I ran out of time. Really? I never, you know. Here, now, here's the, this is so funny. I, I'm stoked for the Star Trek game. Like, I'm so stoked. I played a, the demo at PAX, and I loved it. But the VR is the opposite of the Switch, where I don't... It's so fucking hard to play the VR for me, where it's like... I can play the Switch anywhere, and it's simple. 
But the VR is like the whole process was setting up. Now I'm like sectioned off. So like if I'm watching my kids, I'm not anymore. And I can't like, if, you know, I, yeah, it's hard. I, for I, it's not to. made for people with kids. It's not. It's really not. So trying to find the time to play is really tough. And Rocco told me about how long the demo, the, the, the training was. The toots. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, I don't, I don't have two hours. Get so maybe I don't. Out. I don't know. So, uh, but I still want to play it. I just haven't checked it. I did buy it though. You're the biggest uh, Star Trek fan I know. I am the biggest Star Trek now, fan. I want to know your review more than anybody. Yeah. I'm not a big Star Trek fan. Sure. I don't really like it at all, in fact. Well, uh, I'm not the biggest Star Trek I've, fan either. But I've heard this is fun, but like... Yeah. On intellectual Neanderthals. <laughs> yeah, dummies. Is there, any, there, is there any reason to play this? It's just in the experience of running the ship, the Enterprise, right? I mean... Yeah. I haven't played this one, but, but I did I... play the original Bridge Command. Mm. And I think... I think just coming at it as like a tactical... Um, you know, you're involved in battles and you're helming a ship. So even if you don't like Star Trek, just kind of the management of yeah. your weapons and your defenses and your maneuvers. I feel like if you just approach it from a space battle kind of uh, viewpoint, you know, you yeah. get the experience of being the commander of a giant war vessel. It's still you and a bunch of friends yeah, defending a ship. You know, so it, it, right. it, what I played was cool, but again, I pretty much played. It was all single player yeah. stuff. Because I've heard that this is a ton of fun with the voice chat on and a group of your friends. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My fear is, like, by the time I get around to playing this, none of my friends are going to be playing this. I'll play with you, Garrett. You know what we should do is bring in a couple PlayStations. Uh, oh, we'll all bring our God. VR helmets, and we should do like a friend yeah. dimension. That would be land party because we all yeah. have VR. Yeah. That's what I was gonna that say. Would be awesome. That's what's blowing my mind here. Is this is rare territory where we all got this game, and 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 also rare territory. None of us played it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I haven't. How, got the, how the hell did that happen? Fair, I haven't gotten it. Everyone yet. in this room but you has it. Yeah. yeah wow. And, and nobody's played it. <laughs> yeah. And I was I, speaking of VR. I was waiting for that Farpoint game. That's yeah. finally here. But like, yeah. I haven't touched or even looked into that. Yeah. I don't know. It is a process to get the VR set up and going. But once you're in it, it's super cool. Uh, what's yeah. also real, what's pretty dumb, I have to say as well, is I have uh, I got a new TV. I have a 4K TV now. It does HDR and all that. Uh, the VR, the little VR box that yeah. VR attaches to your PS4 yes. does not pass HDR content through, basically. <laughs> so so I have this brand new TV that can see more vivid color than yeah. ever, um, but I have to like disconnect all that oh, what the to fuck? watch it. Or, you know what I mean? That's if I want to use VR, I got to hook it all back up again. Yeah. What? And it's like, yeah, you should have just had this box pass that through. I mean, Sony's PS4 Pro is all about HDR. Yeah, all the content on this is HDR compatible. But that VR box, eh, no, it won't go through that. That's cool. That, that Thanks. That no. update? They can't. No that's, no, that's hardware. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, I just disconnected that whole VR unit in... Uh, in, anyway, because yeah. it wouldn't go into rest mode with my console. Yeah, my VR unit's oh. in a box underneath my PlayStation on the shelf. I just unplugged it, wrapped it up with yeah. the headset, yeah. and I, yeah. I stored those together. For whatever reason, every other time I put my console in rest mode, that yeah. thing will stay on for like days. Oh, no kidding. I haven't yeah. had that problem. Please. I have to unplug it and plug it back in. My I only, uh, I, again, I haven't played more than what I played at PAX, but I am bummed you can't be on the enterprise d or like the like in that world next generation it's yeah. all like before that which i kind of yeah, would rather play next gen style really? stuff than the original series uh star trek bridge commander on pc one of the highest rated games on metacritic of all mm -hmm. time i'll play that one check it out yeah cool Cool. Uh, hey, we should have mentioned our sponsors at the top of the show we we do have sponsors uh because we're professionals uh, sponsor number one, we are sponsored by Kickapoo Joy Juice. Enjoy, yeah, spit that oh, shit out. Once, you have, you, Kickapoo, once you have water. a Kickapoo, once you have a Kickapoo, water will literally taste like urine. <laughs> yep. Some people are into that. I myself am not. I'm not. No. So no. I enjoy Kickapoo. Rocco, you said no, but we all know. Trust me, I, I went there and I left. Yeah, he's <laughs> tried it. Nope. Uh, you can try Kickapoo for yourself by going to drinkkickapoo.com. And at this yes. point, if you haven't tried a Kickapoo, the fuck is wrong with you? You don't even yeah, know. What, what is this? You're just being contrarian at this point, okay? Oh, I'm not going to try it. Oh, I, yeah. I enjoy having an opinion on something I've never tried. No. Please. Tell them to get with the program. Get with have, the program. A, have a sample at least. Yeah, so go to drinkkickapoo.com. Follow at drinkkickapoo on Twitter. If you really want to get in the know with this beloved, delicious drink, uh, don't just don't don't be a normie. 
That's all. If, yeah. if there's anything you learn from this podcast, don't be a normie. Don't Jeff, be a uh, basic sponge. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Think for yourself. Exactly. Don't, what are you going to drink? A so listen to Coke? what we say. Go to drinkkickaboo.com and get an order ass. a case for Do yourself. what we tell you. It's on Amazon too. Order one now. Order one now. <laughs> Do it. Pause this. Order uh, one now. <laughs> hey, speaking of Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, oh, yeah, uh, you first. should subscribe to our they Twitch stream. You. They, they're trying to sabotage you. I gotta get to a PC. They don't want you to enjoy quality content and entertainment. I don't know why. I think Amazon's jealous of our podcast. They probably are. It is sabotage. Yeah. Amazon, we are no threat to Amazon, <laughs> and yet they still envy our success and they try True. to squash us by unsubbing all of our fans. Can you believe True. that? Automatically, it's bullshit. Let's see. You get a free subscription through your Amazon Prime uh, account. So go to our Twitch channel, hit subscribe. You get all the bonus features. Uh, it's cool stuff. You're gonna enjoy it. Do yeah. yourself a favor. Click that button. You get no ads Talk and all the emoticons. I have a question because like I don't honestly know the answer to this. If they watch another person's stream, can they use our emojis or emoticons still? I believe so. Oh, that. See, you can. Watch. Oh. I think I could be wrong. You don't quote watch, me on that. You could okay. harass games and do stocks up for him. Let yeah. him you know harass doing a good job. all the other channels out there. Because yeah. I'm seeing other people's <coughs> bad ass emojis. Yeah, yeah, I am too. I'm seeing yeah. Jack, so. Jessica Negri face all the time. I don't know what yeah. that's all about. Is that an emoji? I thought it was with blue hair. Maybe that's not. I don't her. think yeah. that's her. See, I just, yeah, I, like I think this. that's just like a fetishized you, fantasy. You can go to other thing. chats of and me? just show them yeah. what they're yeah. missing. Probably. I mean, they don't. But they're like, Shit, the Jessica saw? Negri emoji wouldn't be her face, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. It's minions. That's what we're laughing at. There it is. That's not Negri with the blue hair. All right. Hey, you wish. So. Yo, yeah, yeah, sorry, you were saying. Oh, I was also going to say, hey, support us. Buy a shirt. Why don't you? Go to shop.mega64.com. Get yourself a cool piece of apparel. We have a lot of great stuff at shop.mega64.com. A lot of great stuff. You, Sean, you yeah. may want to cut this out on Tuesday. Good. Because I hated it. Um, I'm just kidding. Check that stuff out if you get a chance. Hey, and also, you know what? We have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mega64. And it's actually, we're sending out the boxes. Kevin and I have been, Kevin especially. They're yeah. going out. He's been around well, the we, block. We send out these top tier prize boxes quarterly. Every three months. You get four a year. This is the fourth one. So this is officially our year of doing yes. a Patreon. I guess it's not officially a year of doing Patreon, but, but it's a year's worth of boxes. boxes. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And I feel like that's a big deal. And I kind of want to show off some of the highlights of the past year. Some of okay. the cool stuff we sent out. Some people out there, uh, you know, they don't get these boxes. They don't know what they're missing. Sure. I think we should let them know. Can, we, sure. uh, can we get this on camera here? We have to. Yeah. yeah. No, have to no, I can the camera if you want. No, no, no. Okay. Good, good, good. We got Kev. He's like multifaceted. On We've got it all set up here, QVC style. Uh, is that right? QVC. Yeah. QVC. Home it. Quentin Veslovius. Veslovius. Cox. Cox. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this. Wonderful. Fake mm. brand sunglasses. Rare. Collectors. Are, beautiful. You may have seen these on the beautiful face of Rocco Bodie even yeah. earlier tonight. That's right. Remember Originally on Gary Remember me? We stole Some his look. Some people Inspired. like collectibles, you know. Uh, we did send out ages ago. This is about nine months ago. We sent out our Mega64 trading cards. I would like to extend this into a full collection. Me too. I was into Marvel trading cards and DC <laughs> trading cards when I was a kid. This is beautiful. They come with facts on the back of all your favorite characters like Christopher Demon, the new Batman. Uh, I hope DC doesn't sue us for that one. And Bayonetta, which I hope Nintendo doesn't sue us for that one. <laughs> it's not, you know, I was going to say including that. I don't know what I was going to say. Brain fart. But in addition to that, you know, we have these designer stickers here. Have a seat on the monster toilet. <laughs> Yo. Uh, the glasses. We've got badass apparel like this bandana. Humpty Ooh, Crunky this, bandana. The Humpty Crunky bandana. Very sexual. You fold this up, put it out the back of your pocket. You can go anywhere in America. Nobody will mess with you because they know you're part of the Humpty Crunky crew. That's mm. true. That's true. If you live in a colder part of America, you know, earlier this year, we did put out, look at this, beautiful, exclusive. Mega 64 scarf. I should I should put this all on. Yeah, I? you should. I look should at it. This is how good you could look at home, ladies and gentlemen. Look at you this. Really, people do look this good. They wear it all at once, too. Some, to people, kind of rep. <laughs> some people actually look this good when they go out to the club looking for the next piece for, of penis. For yeah. people li listening to the audio version, Derek looks like a member of Veins of Jenna right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, good ref. Obscure reference. Yeah, yeah. 
You and know, for those with the I don't even get too. that reference. The fuck is veins okay, and is that a, is that an insult? Was, I don't even know if that's this, an insult. Hey, if I find out you've insulted e me, it could go either way, and that's why it's a good one. I'm Aaron gonna be Smith so used, upset. Aerosmith used to put bandanas on the microphone. I've never seen a band put more on their fucking bodies. <laughs> uh, we did enamel pins for the first time ever. Mega 64 never did enamel pin. Uh, and then we put out that's true. Me as Sonic. No, this is not Sonic. You fucking sixth grader. What is this? That? Is Sonic. Puerto Rican Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> the fastest cat alive. Uh, exclusive hat, too, with some nice Battle of the Bands. Gnarly. Pins. Look Got at teeth that. on yeah. that hat. Am I looking better looking by the moment? Better. Dude, it's yeah. getting pretty so, better. like, I'm unable to resist. Yeah. Team Timbo sticker. I'll put that on here. Boom. Mm. Matches nice. the bandana. Where was that Marcus sticker? Ooh. You remember this guy? You remember this guy from our show? It's been a while since you've seen him. By the way. Do the thing. The, the noise he makes, Rocco. Yeah, do his noise, Rocco. Rocco, what? do do his noise. What the fuck are you talking about? Sean, you, like, Sean, you want to grace everybody? No, no, no. With, uh, He's serious. It's Rocco. Rocco's, Rocco's does the, the famous All right, sorry, oh. I keep doing that. There's, oh. I got what you're doing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Calendar, so you don't miss any of your events, <laughs> your, your fucking child custody dates if you're Sean. <laughs> I, that, uh, what? Your, no. your 45,000 hours of work if you're Garrett. Uh, <laughs> your 24-7 anime schedule if you're Rocco. And um, what about for you? Yeah, what are you up to? I'm relaxed. You know, my schedule's wide open. Anybody <laughs> wants to hit me up, I'm available. This calendar's empty. Blank slate. <laughs> Blank slate. Well, you're going to be full of dates after uh, <laughs> you wear all that swag on camera, yeah. man. And hey, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. What is that? Wait a minute. 20-page coloring book. This is... Whoa, people haven't seen that yet. This Those is, are in the mail now. These are in the mail now. You can't get this unless you already you signed up, up for the I top did. tier. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to show you what's in this book, but it's brilliant. A lot of people contributed to this. I contributed a page to it. It's cool stuff. Hey, if you're interested in this, go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash mega64. <laughs> Not only that, but wait, there's more. QVC style. We have a sweepstakes, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, shit. We do a sweepstakes once a month, which averages to three every three months, which is how we like to do it. We get some winners. We select them from our sweepstakes. And we send them some prizes. Everybody in our Patreon is automatically entered into the sweepstakes. But you don't even have to sign up for the Patreon to enter in the sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, as they say. The information is available on our Patreon website. These are our winners! Oh, man. For the summer edition of the Mega 64 sweepstakes. I'd like to call them out right now. Can I get a drum roll? Here we go. Number one. Our first winner of the Mega 64 sweepstakes, ladies and gentlemen. He goes by the name... Disco isn't dead for this guy, Floyd Disco. Oh, Mr. Floyd Disco, we will be sending you a special <coughs> box of treats. You know, it's not just the Patreon stuff. We're going to be sending no, you some different stuff, uh, exclusive memorabilia, stuff that's floating around here in the warehouse. You know, stuff we use in videos, signed merchandise, legit things stuff. from very Mega special prizes. Universe. Yeah. Winner number two. Okay. This guy, uh, trying to think of a joke for his name. Can't think of one. Just going to say the name. Mr. Jamie Nelson. Jamie. Congratulations, Jamie. Jamie. Good job. Jamie, you might be a female. Jamie. I called you Mr. If you, if you see me on the street, we can duke it out with fisticuffs. Oh, the burps are... And that'll settle it. And winner number three, the final winner of the Mega 64 sweepstakes. It could be anybody at home watching right now. Maybe it's you. I'll tell you who it is. Alexander Ooh. Davis. Congratulations, oh. Alexander. Alexander. Those are our three winners for the sweepstakes. You earned it, guys. Yeah. If you want to enter the sweepstakes, check out our Patreon. Cool. All right. That's Dude. that. Cool. And I will say with the Patreon boxes that there are uh, other things in that box coming as well. So More that they get haven't seen. ready. Kevin and I are shipping them out tomorrow. So hopefully by the end of the week, you will get them. Domestically, international. Cool. I don't. I'm not in charge of that. That's customs. That's not me. Very cool. There I said. So, hey, uh, this coming week is. Uh, we're almost uh, actually a week from now will be Microsoft's uh, keynote. Yeah. E3. Mm, a week from wow. now. Oh, I can't wait. By this point next week, we will know everything about Scorpio. <gasps> um, I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm re well. E and then E3 obviously is. Starts following that, yeah. that's that's where it all kind of begins. Mm. Uh, but I am actually this year most excited about Microsoft's. 
Really? Because well, you want I, you want to know about Scorpio. I have no clue where they can go. Where Halo. They, where they will go. I mean, that's a joke every year, but honestly. Yeah, and it's right every year. They've already said they won't. They've already said they that. They said that. What, there's I no Halo? I think people, maybe, <laughs> they correct me if no I'm wrong. I think they said, like, they're not doing, we're, we're not talking Halo this year. Scale back. I oh. feel like I read that, maybe I made that up. Instead, but, we're going to talk about how Scorpio will replace your cable subscription. How Scorpio yeah, will play your Sports. DVDs. How you can watch ESPN yeah. on your Scorpio and get DVR, Lifetime right. channel on your Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but I honestly, like, here's the thing, Sony's keynote, you know, I, I, you know, I love the PS4 and all that stuff, but there's only so many places they can go. They've announced Last of Us 2. They've yeah. announced that. So maybe uh, will we see more of that? Who knows? Poop, poop. God of War, uh, they, sh- we what haven't seen snore. since last year. Yeah. But, uh, and they were, they're already putting up a big God of War thing in downtown LA. So, uh, you know, they'll talk about that's, that. That's only Microsoft? Kratos. No, no, no. What? Sony. Sony. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Get with it, dude. Um, Sorry! So Sony can only... Ex- I feel like Sony is just going to expand upon all these... Th- you know, we've already they've already announced Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yep. There's only so many things they could show at this thing. Uh, you know, they might have a new IP coming out now that Horizon's out and done with. They might have some new stuff, and that'll be cool. But the existing stuff, it's there's only so, so many places they can go, I feel like. Nintendo, same thing. They're going to show more Mario, probably. I, yeah. I know where they're kind of probably going with that. You know, unless they surprise us. Who knows? Show new Switch stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'm, which will be cool. But Microsoft is the biggest question mark. I, I mean, I have no clue what game. They haven't, they haven't talked about any new games lately at all. Right. Scorpio is still like, what is that? What is it? Like, what, you know, what's that going to be? This is going it's, to be a make or break moment I for Microsoft. The same thing. This is like, if they don't kill it and uh-huh. it sucks, then what they're done. What is, right? hey, w- for me, there never came a point where Xbox One became a must-buy. No. Uh, no. So are they just jumping ship and and just going to well, swing on over to Scorpio and that's going to be the must-buy? I don't think it's jumping ship. Isn't the console lifespan over as far as one? How long has Xbox One been out? Uh, I mean, it's been four years. I mean, Shit, consoles man. have ended at that point. Fuck, man. They have done that. But, uh, I mean, honestly, the original Xbox... They only waited four years before Xbox 360 Was got that announced. Really, like four years. Yeah, and everyone I know got Xbox 360. A lot of a lot of people I know got that as like their first console, and a lot of people I knew at that time hmm. wasn't weren't even aware of the original Xbox. And I was just sitting there like. I, I played fun stuff on the original Xbox. Like, oh, yeah. I actually did. Like, I was kind of blown away by that. 360 was this new panacea of just, you know. Well, uh, you know. It did, I, a, well, it did a lot of things great. I didn't have an Xbox. I didn't have the original Xbox. It yeah. was Microsoft's first console. And I felt yeah. like, hey, Nintendo's been around forever. Yeah. Sony's been around, not forever, but for a while. Are you guys going to continue with the video game thing? I almost didn't trust it. Sure. So when Xbox 360 came out, it was like, okay, this looks cool. And, and clearly, it was yeah. clearly yeah. you're going to stick with the video game yeah. industry. And yeah, I picked up a 360. Also, too, it came out at a time where I think it's safe to, I'm not going to, well, I will assume that we all probably didn't have a ton of money for a billion consoles. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I mean, 2001, none of us no. were rolling in dough. Or I had to make really my point? choice between yeah. my PlayStation, Nintendo, or an Xbox. The only reason I had a regular Xbox. I ne- that was never on my priority. I got one later because it was like a graduation present. That was yeah. the only reason I had one. I had friends goat me into getting one to play multiplayer Halo. Oh, yeah. And that's why I got one. Like, that's way, one. Yeah. like a couple months before the 360 came out, Yeah, I got an Xbox one. So, um... I hope that, wait, the PS4 came out when? Same theater as Xbox One, right? Yeah. That's yeah. four years old? Four years ago. Because yeah. I would be bummed if they announced the PS5 at this point. Because I'm that, pretty settled in with my PS4 and I don't pre- want... PS4 is a must-buy. I feel like PS4 is... I don't. It, the thing is, is like this shit has changed. You know, there the, we didn't get the PS4 until what seven years after the PS3. Yeah. So it's not quite the same. And you know, by the end of the PS3, I mean it was after seven years, it still felt like a pretty good system. Yeah. So four came, and even then, it was kind of like, I, like I'm in. I love the PS3, so I'm in on four. But uh, do we need? It, it, there was still an era yeah. of like, do hey, we need a new system? And uh, maybe this is just me personally, but I felt towards the end of the 360 era, yeah. Microsoft was overplaying their hand. 
PlayStation was offering free online play. Microsoft was still charging for yeah. Xbox PS3 Gold. got better and better. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, if you didn't subscribe to the online services, you started losing games that you had access yeah. to on the True. Xbox 360. And they weren't releasing new games that warranted continuing my online subscription. I lost so much than just my online capability when I was not able to play those games mm. because I didn't subscribe to it. And I just felt like you're taking so much and you're not really giving us anything back and now there's this new console and i don't know if i trust you yeah. then all that shit came out about how like it always has to be online the camera's gonna watch yeah, you and all that, this that stuff good, all good, that good all that no. bad pr they never got over it and it's really interesting to me how xbox was the king and yes. was dethroned they got too cocky they got too cocky and, you know, it, it's all cyclical because, you know, the, the PS4 came. I love the PS4, but they did introduce... PS2 is king, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. So... Uh, but when the PS4 showed up, they started charging for online. Yeah. You know, it was like, oh, now they both do. But... And then I had to pick one or the other. Yeah, but yeah. honestly, <laughs> PS4 is online. They've had, they've had a great selection of stuff. Okay, they whatever. free games. But, yeah, true. That's true. So often. Yeah, and honestly, uh, everything... You know, I, I took my subscription uh, with Xbox gold whatever it was called yeah. and i just moved it over to playstation yeah. so i converted now this week they i don't know if you guys saw they finally announced nintendo, nintendo put out some details oh yeah because they said when they announced the switch yeah we're gonna do a we're uh, eventually we'll charge for online too and people were like oh no nintendo you were the one that didn't uh they came out with the info okay i don't know it. 20 bucks a year well, that's okay it's not bad. not bad. That is not bad. Uh, and they, but they said they have a special plan. If you want to do it per, if you want to do just a month or something, it's four dollars. Okay, it's not bad. What an inconvenience. Um, yeah. However, uh, and they said uh, what, this was what was interesting is they said um, they, they they mentioned before when they talked about this. Yeah, it's going to come later in 2017, but you'll get a free virtual console game every month. You'll get an old game, mm. uh, but then after that month, it'll go away. Oh fuck! You know, it was kind of just yeah, like. All right. Dude, the nickel so, and diming needs to stop. Well, listen. So <laughs> they announced this week. Yeah, we're not going to go through with that. We're thinking about the way they described it was almost like a service. Like a, it almost sounded like a Netflix-like service. Oh, okay. Where it was like, yeah, you have access to this as long as you okay. pay the online thing. Hmm. And we're going to add, and they add, they said specific examples. Okay. We're going to add, Excitement. we're going to even, just to make it more worth it. We're even going to add online play to old games that didn't have Whoa. it. So, uh, and they specifically cited Mario Brothers Three. Which what? What would online for that even be? I, yeah. I, I, well, you I'm would just sure. take turns playing it. Remember, you, you could do local multiplayer. You yeah. take turns playing the game. I guess it would yeah, be Mario that. Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Okay. They mentioned some other games too that I cannot remember. But um, yeah, so something like that. I thought that was kind of cool. It was like they listened, kind of. You know, it's like. I don't know. All can right. you download these games? I mean, nobody knows anything. Because okay, well, my question would be: yeah. Can you download these games? Because now with the Switch being portable, yeah, exactly. I, I think, like would have I think they know that. I mean, I don't think they. Yeah. If it had to be always online, that because would be really cowardly. If Xbox does that, if PS4 does that, which they do, yeah, they know I'm always going to be with Wi-Fi because I'm at my house and it's not an issue. Sure, but okay. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, uh, and also I almost feel like I'd rather pay for Nintendo's online service because it's so bad. Now that yeah. maybe will make them be better. Yeah, you know? it, it's almost like uh, now they have to be <laughs> right. They have to. But, yeah. but regardless, You're regardless, regardless too. They also announced they're pushing it. They said uh, it'll all be free till 2018. We're not gonna do it this year. Okay, so, so that's good. Make it free. Get people in be... there. Exactly. Because yeah, right. uh, uh, honestly, stands. every month it seems like there's a new subscription service, and yeah. I'm I'm running out of the uh, subscription budget. Okay. Right, yeah, sure. Remember between when, Netflix, right. Hulu, Amazon, fucking. I feel twenty bucks. That is for the year is such like. Well, I mean, yeah. sixty bucks is like that's kind of hard to swallow. But twenty is like, all right. Man. Twenty bucks, that's fine. I'll I won't order a, a pizza from that's Domino's. Saying, yeah. Right, like I'm one like, week. <laughs> yeah, I think they're going the right route with that. It's cheap. They're get they're letting everyone just have it for a year. Um, I think they're and and offering that additional stuff on top of it. I think they're I think they're doing a good job. I actually think that's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I was worried because again, Nintendo Online is not something I equate to like good. I want to pay quality. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. I, I mean, I'm not even gonna say bad quality because honestly, like when Smash Brothers came out. 
that worked day one, at least for me. I don't know if anybody else had trouble, but that worked for me. Mm. And I was like, you know, on the other consoles, these huge games coming out don't work. Maybe nobody has a Wii U, and that's what it was. But uh, that definitely, factor. yes. But but it still, it wasn't something I was urging for. And and you know, I don't know, twenty bucks for a whole year. Okay. I feel like why not? Not too bad. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. So anyway, uh, so that's all their stuff. Anyway, going into so yeah, E3 coming up. I'm excited to see what Microsoft does because I really have no clue. Yeah. Uh, so I really want to do, I want to do last year and like stream some of the keynotes. I want to do that again. Yeah, we that, do that, again. that was fun. a lot of fun. That like was fun. depending on when they are, but then again, it's on a Sunday that time. So maybe I'll just go uh, earlier than the podcast. I'll just turn it on. Or oh, something. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Fun. It's on Sunday. It's on a Sunday. Microsoft yeah. is. Microsoft wow. is. The okay. other ones are Monday. Does Apple uh, have one tomorrow? Jesus is rolling in his grave. And that's all I'm going to say. Ooh, wow. Okay. That's the Lord's day. It's not Microsoft's day. Yeah. Sean and, says. Uh, I agree with that. You know what yeah. Sean thinks about religion. I just oh. think it's not for me. E3, that's why I say about it. So I maybe say e- all religions for people, fine. But for me, I don't know. Maybe E3, Too though, is smart the religion. For everybody else. Maybe I'm the tech religion. You I'm should. saying I... Are you a theist or a smart person? I am uh, neither. I am neither. Can wait? I. It's Those not words. Something. It's not something I like to do to explain a joke. I don't <laughs> like doing that. Yeah. But I just feel like the history here with Mega Sixty Four is long enough. That's an old. That one. I would just want to revisit that there was a thread on our forums a long time ago when we had forums. When we had forums, that <laughs> that li- the subject was our Mega Sixty Four theists or smart people. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was options. a great thread. That was a great I, thread. <laughs> I chose smart person by default. Oh. Uh, but hey, that's our podcast. Wait. What? I want to say more about E3 real quick. Oh, it's not over done so that. far. Oh, geez, not even over. E3. Can we do it in the after show? E3 predictions. Okay. Can we, can we, we can't go on that? Can uh, go I'll give you minute? one. You, you have literally one minute. Yeah, the, the after show still goes online. I mean, it's not like anybody. E3 not predictions. It. What would be your dream thing? Like okay, they announced a new this new game at E3. What what is your thing you would most want? It hasn't been announced yet. It hasn't been announced because uh-huh. that's where you're stuck because they've already like announced Resident Evil Two remake. Yeah, yeah, it's announced though. Um, uh, come back to me. Okay, uh, think about it. You go first. You got a thousand oh. questions. Oh yeah. Uh, I I hmm. I hope <laughs> that Konami comes out and says something officially about. A possible chapter three upon nuclear disarmament with Metal Gear Solid Five Metal Gear? campaign. Yeah, I think that would be the thing I would want least, <laughs> because I know a certain someone wouldn't be involved. Mm. <clears throat> um, for me, for me, I would say uh, everything I really want is in the works right now. Generally, except one thing: J- can we can we just get on the fucking Metroid train? Give us a new Metroid. Make it 2D. Make it old graphics. I don't care. Just please give me something Metroid that is good. But everything else looks great. You know, everything else that's already in the works looks awesome. So that's my only thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, new toy. St- are you gonna say like new Toy Story game? No, I was gonna say like, like a new Amiibo. Yeah, I was like a new say Amiibo. Donkey Kong, but the last ones were so fucking hard. Roblox to... official We've release. We've gone to the Donkey Kong yeah. well. I feel like we're you good. You fucking popped this question. I mean, I'm just trying to think of my no, answer. I'm just no, giving my thoughts. Tiny yeah, tower. I, I wasn't asking for your thoughts, frankly. The game where you insult religion. Frankly, I wasn't yeah, insulting an- religion. It wasn't for me. <laughs> Antichrist, Sean, the game. Ah! Dante's Inferno 2. Yeah. Oh, honestly, yeah. That game was fucking I wish they would. I know. That was... What, <laughs> Paradiso. That was great. You know, Visceral, who made that game. Oh. Yeah. Portal. Portal, Portal. Portal 3? Portal. Really? Portal. Portal they VR. Oh, not put it, sick. Ooh. Put it in VR. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I was going to say, the, the developer that made... Uh, uh, Visceral. That, yeah, Visceral made Dante's Inferno. Yeah. They're in charge of. They're they're using three developers to make the new Battlefront. Oh, okay. Uh, Criterion, who was used to be behind uh, Burnout and stuff, are doing all the vehicle stuff. Mm-hmm. Dice, who did the first person shooters, you know, Battlefront. The, Battlefront, yeah. They're they're doing the the just the the multiplayer, and then the single player campaign is by Visceral. That's cool. I thought that sounded awesome. So yeah, I'm like I'm kind of stoked on that. Is game. that dated this year? I think it's the end of this year. Battlefront. I'm pretty sure. Yes. All right, Derek, Derek. Go ahead. Something good that is new and is not a sequel. Uh, fifth in the franchise of a game we've already played a million times. 
So I guess I'm looking for something that's not Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty. Maybe they could release something that looks like No Man's Sky, but is actually what everybody wanted No Man's Sky to be. You know, it's expansive. Uh, a reboot of Spore. A first-person reboot of Spore. That's what I want. You Spore. start... Like, you like metaphorically like, or actually yeah, a reboot? Actually. <laughs> you start as a single-cell organism, and then you grow a civilization, and then you go into space and go and explore other planets, discover other civilizations, except now it's next-gen and it's first-person. But it's not Spore, or it is Spore? Hey, play because it however you want it. Because, okay. Uh, will Will Wright, Will Wheaton, whoever made Spore, if you're out there, you can take my idea and run with it. Will, if he chooses not will. to, then laissez-faire. We'll let yeah. a new entrepreneur take it Listen, and run with it. Will Turner, if you're watching this, get it together and get it the fuck out there right now. N knock off the Sims. we got enough Sims. Mm -hmm. uh, I really, yeah, you know... I want video games to be <coughs> fucking like inspiring, awe-inspiring again. I feel like that era of wow, all this new stuff that we've never seen before is coming out is <laughs> over. Hey, here's the same game number four, same game number five, last year's hit number two. Eh, I'm over it. Well, so wouldn't be a spore reboot being that same genre? Wouldn't it be the same thing? Yeah, you just asked for a spore reboot. Then don't make it spore. Okay. I'm saying I want something. I feel like we are at a level where consoles are powerful enough and the games aren't living up to it. Things mm -hmm. should be so much more expansive than where we are. And people are just not doing new shit with video games. Uh, I was talking about Prey. Everybody knows I hate Prey. I was talking about it the other day with these guys. And it occurred to me another thing I didn't like about Prey. Are we still doing characters just patrolling a room for no fucking reason, walking in a circle with no motivation? Let's think harder. Let's, you know, just expand what video games but can be. This is why, uh, this is what uh, I thought was interesting about, uh, why I like Shadow of Mordor. Yeah. Is I felt like it gave more life to just enemies kind of fumbling around. Yeah. It was like, oh, I know their name. Yeah. They know my name. Hey, oh, they're system. learning about that me. That was interesting. That was cool. And that was one game that did that five years ago. And, so, and now we're back to Call of Duty. It's so interesting, too, because that game came out. And we, uh, every at least everyone that I, when I was reading reviews of it and stuff, they all said, oh, this is the thing everyone's going to rip off. This uh, notoriety, this, uh, yeah. whatever, they, what did they call that Nemesis? system? Yeah, Nemesis, Nemesis system, system. Where everyone learns about you. All these games are going to rip that off. And, uh. Nobody Still did. Has never Nobody been did because it's hard work to put effort into something. <laughs> yeah. Why? Honestly. Why put effort into something when your shit will make you two billion dollars? I read a thing that the sequel to the game, because uh, there's a new one. Sh oh, really? What is it called? They're Shadow of see War. I think it's called Shadow of War. It's a really uh, boring title. Uh, whatever it is. But anyway, uh, they, I heard. I read a thing the other day. Oh, it got delayed till October. I didn't even know. It was I didn't know it was out. being developed. Either. I didn't know anything about a release date for that. So hey, October sounds great. I didn't play the good. first. So but this but would be cool to get I the second. Yeah, the, it was really cool. The I know. I mean, seeing Eric play it and then yeah. all the stuff that we watched when we made the video. The video was like, exactly. Yeah. Damn, I wish I had time for this. But I. But going to what you're saying though, Derek, I completely agree. I 100 percent agree. What I want more than anything from the show is new properties that explore new frontiers. I completely agree. I was cool. just saying Metroid for the sake of something I can actually like tangibly explain. You know, because we could all say we want something new, but yeah. it's easier to just hey, go, all right, if they're going to... You, know, you know what I believe? This is what I think about all humans when it comes to the world of entertainment. Nobody knows what they want. They'll tell you they want something and you give it to them and they're disappointed. So surprise them. Yeah. Give them something they didn't know they wanted. Yeah. yeah. E3, it's on you. Ball's in your court. That now. was that was uh, uh, Steve Jobs' mentality, you know. And then it's funny, like Apple's making great products, but it's just here's another color of it. Yeah. Well, oh, he's man. dead now. He is dead. We'll see what they announce tomorrow. They do. They somebody asked somebody asked Siri. Wait. They went, "What's because WWDC is the show they're having tomorrow?" Yeah. Somebody went, "Hey, what are they going to show?" And Siri goes. Oh, we're going to announce the awesome, amazing... Oh, I almost said too much. So they've said programmed that. it in? Yeah. So what's it going to be? Uh, The car! Is oh, this please. is this the time of year they show phone stuff or laptop no, stuff? No, that's not. Yeah. Okay. It's new iOS though, maybe, right? Do you think, iPhone, do you think iPhone 8 is going to come out? No. Do you think it'll come I out? think they're going to call it. I think the 7 think the was 7 like... Are they working on that? They went, they're going to go, eh, we're done. No more numbers? 
I think they're going to be done. Do you think the Beatles will ever find a way to re-release their music? No. They're done. I think we're done. Done with that band. They'll figure out a way to that, act well, and you asked major for a minute, motion pictures. Rocco, I gave you 10. So. That new uh, oh, Sergeant Pepper fuck. remix was really good. I'm, oh, glad, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about this in the after show. Gosh. I don't fucking no, care. The after you're show goes cut. on the internet, right? You're going to cut. Yes. We, there's you no reason. That was a business. Listen, listen, everybody can see this at any time. They can see it now. They can see it on Tuesday. He's going to apologize later. He just wants to make your life harder. Now I'm with you. Thank you. This guy's egotistical. Yes. Listen. Who cares? No one cares. Nobody's. All right. We're all going to silence ourselves so we can listen. The plug section of this podcast was so long, and it's going to be cut down for Tuesday. The Twin Peaks section was so long. You serious? Uh, as long as just feels Wonder long Woman discussion or the plugs, <laughs> you say and we're that. gonna cut that part. We're gonna cut the plug part down on mm. Tuesday, so that's why I thought oh. it was okay to. Um, that's why I thought it was okay. Well, let me tell you, it wasn't okay. It wasn't all right. Skipped right over the PPS on the archive channel. Oh, too. fine, talk about it. What'd no, you, what'd you play? Gone. What'd you play, Garrett? No, we're doing it on what'd, the after show. What'd you, I'm dying to know what you fucking the play. The after show's uploaded to the internet. <laughs> I heard so th- this is what we should end this on. I want to talk about the PPS. We're going to end the podcast on this. Oh, yeah? A lot of comments. I was reading the reaction to last week's podcast. Mega64 sucks now. Oh, no. We're not funny. <laughs> we all suck. You're the greatest. Purely played stream. Wow, purely played? That that's, that's that's what that's, they're calling it now. That's gonna that's that's not what the show was intended for. I know, but now you've ascended, you know, like Jesus moving the rock and saying they didn't kill me after all. That's you. That's me. Wait, he said that? Sean doesn't like the kind of Christ like. Yeah, if you knew anything about religion, you might be into it. Cool shit happens, dude. I don't know I don't know literally anything about any religion. I know nothing. Well don't knock it till you try. We promised you'd pick one at the end, so we'll end on that. Wahhabism, go for it. I don't have a wheel. <laughs> Native animalism. Uh, how about this? I'm gonna I'm gonna search religion and then I'm gonna scroll through all of them and land and and you tell me when to stop. Yeah, just okay. do a spinning <laughs> scroll. I'm gonna do a list of religions. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. I gotta search list of religions. Mm. <clears throat> okay. There's probably like a big long list. Go to Wikipedia. Oh no, I, I got them all right here. Okay. Oh okay. man, yeah. There's a huge. Okay. He's spinning. I'm okay. Ready. All right, yeah. I'm 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 wiggling it around. Okay. Tell me when to stop. Where it stops, nobody does. Stop. Stop. Oh, he said stop. What do you okay. Hit? All right. Now you. There's one more thing we'll have to do. Okay. You selected Abrahamic religions. Okay. Now you must choose one within that. Narrow it. And it's an e- oh wow, that's a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna kind of keep going through them. Okay. Ready to stop and again. Stop. Stop. Jewish stop. He's gonna be a Satanist. I, my mom okay. says I am part Jewish, so under 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 Christian new religious movements, you have chosen the People's Temple. The People's Temple was organ was an organization founded in 1955 by Jim Jones. Mm. Oh! By the mid 1970s, possessed over a dozen locations in California, have fun in Africa. It is best known for the death of over 900 of its members. I'm not joking. He this picked that. I didn't famous. select that. Wow. You want to do another Jonestown? Wow. I talked oh about God. I swear, you're, I swear, you're an swear, asshole. I'm, you want to give babies the Kool Aid, huh? Fucking, Whoa, dude. I swear to everyone Jesus. watching this, I didn't choose that one on purpose. Wow, Sean. He oh, said no. stop you're on a, that one. You're a bad wow. Jesus. Wow. wow. There it is. All right. Wow. So I'll drink the Kool Aid. Good night. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. I'm going to drink the Kool Aid. Good night. Everyone stop. Rocco has an additional bit. Oh, fuck. Stop crying. Fuck. Stop crying. It's fuck.